He will sit and watch as Keyshawn George, the freshman from Switzerland, makes his first career collegiate start. And we are underway at the Watsko Center. And here's Stonehill is going to be in the 3-2 zone that you'll see the entire night. They have been devastated by injuries. And that's one of the... Finds the range. And their loss to Colorado earlier this month has popped around. Well, that's the general formula, but you can't just rely totally on the three. Look at Poplar. <laughs> now, both of his parents were engineering majors at Georgia Tech back in the day. And education's a big part of who Matthew is. Matter of fact, he uh, has had a 4.0. GPA studying criminology. He was a C student until the eighth grade until Matthew got serious about it. With second time this season, he's gotten it by halftime. The other was against LIU. So there are plenty of stars to choose from for Jim Larinaga's Hurricanes looking to improve the record to nine and two on the year. Underway with the second half. Off the bounce, Poplar picks up right. And already early in the second half, we're seeing better movement by Stonehill on the offensive end. And so they're getting better shots. And as a result, they're shooting a better percentage. Poplar's. Poplar gets it back, lines it up, gets his own miss, and he'll have a chance for three. Most improved player of the year award last year that went to Boston College's Quentin Post when he got his scoring average up. And Zegarowski hasn't really gotten going for. Stonehill tonight because they've been great. There's been great pressure on him. Pop well, Poplar was so good the last time out in the win over the LaSalle Explorers. 25 points, a new career high, including three highlight reel dunks. He has been equally spectacular here today. There he is. Comfort